Analysis, Honey Badger vs. Cobra, Resilience vs. Venom. The confrontation between the Honey Badger and the Cobra is one of the most fascinating and improbable battles in the natural world. On one side, we have a small but incredibly tough mammal known for its fearlessness, intelligence, and remarkable resistance to venom. On the other side, one of the deadliest snakes on Earth, armed with powerful neurotoxic venom capable of killing large animals with a single bite. So why does the honey badger often come out on top in the seemingly uneven fight? Let's break it down. Biologically, the honey badger Melivora capensis is a member of the weasel family. It's relatively small, weighing between 10 and 15 kilograms and measuring 60 to 80 centimeters in body length. Despite its size, the honey badger's body is built for battle. It has extremely thick skin up to 6 millimeters that is almost impervious to bites, stings, and claws. Not only is this skin tough, but it's also very loose and flexible, allowing the honey badger to twist and turn even when grabbed, enabling it to bite attackers while still in their grasp. On the other hand, the cobra, especially the king cobra, can grow to 2 or 3 meters in length and weigh between 5 and 7 kilograms. Cobras are infamous for their neurotoxic venom, which can cause paralysis, respiratory failure, and death. Their bite is quick, precise, and extremely effective against most predators or prey animals. However, the honey badger is a rare exception. Scientific studies have shown that it possesses a high resistance to cobra venom. When bitten, the honey badger may become temporarily paralyzed or unconscious usually for just 5 to 30 minutes, but then it wakes up and resumes the attack. This venom resistance is believed to come from molecular adaptations in the badger's nervous system that block or neutralize the effects of neurotoxins. This is one of the most extraordinary examples of evolutionary defense mechanisms among mammals. The combat strategies of both species differ significantly. The cobra typically tries to intimidate threats by raising its body, flaring its hood, and hissing loudly. If the threat persists, the snake delivers a venomous strike and quickly retreats to wait for the venom to take effect. This strategy works well against most animals, but not the honey badger. The badger doesn't back down. In fact, it charges forward even after being bitten. In many documented cases, once the honey badger wakes up from the venom's temporary effects, it resumes the hunt, using its strong jaws and sharp claws to overpower the snake, often going straight for the head to neutralize the threat. In terms of probability, the cobra has a chance of winning only if it lands a perfect bite in a vulnerable area, and the badger is unable to respond. But due to the badger's thick skin and rapid reflexes, this outcome is rare. If the badger manages to close the distance, the snake stands little chance. Once the cobra's head is caught, the fight ends quickly, with the badger typically eating the snake alive. In conclusion, the clash between the honey badger and the cobra illustrates that in nature, Victory doesn't always go to the bigger or more venomous creature. Instead, it often belongs to the one that adapts better, endures longer, and refuses to back down. Despite its small size, the honey badger prevails thanks to its thick skin, venom resistance, and unmatched ferocity. It is a perfect example of how evolution shapes some animals into nearly unstoppable survivors. In the harshest environments, 